in this lecture i will continue with the application of milnes method to solve second order differential equation uh, using numerical procedure the differential equation of the second order ordinary differential equation is of the standard form like this Z is there. Then how to solve by Rajat? Uh, that is a Rajat Kutta method. Already we have discussed. Now how to solve the same differential equation by Milnes method? This is called Milnes method with predictor and character formulas. Here, here we consider the predictor character. Method as follows. Then here we require we need the values of y one, y two, y three of y and z one. Z two, Z three, or Z such that H is the spacing between values of X. Values of X. That implies x1 equal to x0 plus h, x2 equal to x0 plus 2h, x3 equal to that is x0 plus 2h, x0 plus 3h, and so on. When we know all these values, that is successive values of x by Including the addition with the spacing that is x. Then, how to proceed with this? We calculate the values of uh, y4 and z4 in order to predict the next value of this y3 and the next value of z3. We solve for y4 p and Z4, that is Z4 P, that is called predicted value, and further, further Y4 C and it is Z4 C. These values, the top subscript, that is P means that is called uh, uh, predicted value. And C means it is called corrected value. Here we follow certain working steps uh, to solve the differential equation. Let us see how these working steps will be followed. So 
to solve ODD that is second order. by the next PC method that is predicted as the method. Step one. In the step one, we consider is that equal to dy by dx that is equal to y dash then z dash is equal to dz by dx nothing but second order derivative that is d square by divided by it is dx square then this can be substituted or this can be indicated as a function y of x comma y comma flat then find find z1 dash equal to y of x1 y1 and z1 z2 dash is equal to y of x2 y2 z2 and that is z3 dash is equal to phi of x3, y3 and then z3, these three values. Then in the step 2, find y4 p of y4 and z4 p of z4 using Milnes using Milnes predictor equations that is for y4 p and z4 p that is y4 p is equal to y0 plus 4 by 3 h multiplied to 2 times z1 minus z2 plus 2 times z3 and z4 p is equal to z0 plus of 4 by 3 h 4 by 3 h multiplied to 2 times z1 dash minus z2 and plus of 2 times it is z3. Therefore, this is the functional value, this is the functional value, this is the functional value. But in the new function, that is that is z4p means from this z, we have taken it as that is dz by dx, dz by dx is equal to phi of this one. From this, we consider that is 2 times of z1 dash that is z2 dash and then z3 dash ok this is predictor formula in the step 3 step 3 point z4 dash using the expression that is z4 dash is equal to phi of x comma y4 and z4 whereas this z y4 is predicted and this is also predicted. So these predicted values will be substituted in the selected are converted from the second order to the first order equation. This is why the z4 dash is equal to this one. Up to z3 dash from the given table we calculate, but z4 dash using the predictor equations we calculate. Then in the step 4, we 
is a step four. Uh, that is point one four c of y four and z four c of z using Milne's character equations. What are those character equations? Those character equations are z y four c is equal to y two. Plus of h by three, it is z two four times z three plus z four, it is p. Then z four c equal to z two plus h by three, it is z two dash plus four times it is z three dash plus of it is z four. Dash y four c includes z four p. That means the next value of y up to y three uh, values will be given in the table. After y three y four is to be calculated. That y four will be taken as predicted value, and it is to be substituted to calculate y four predicted value. And then after finding z four, that is dash. Then z4 character value will be calculated. Then step five. In this step five, choose y4c as an approximate value. As an approximate value of y4. And z4 c as an approximate value as an approximate value of z4 that is equal to y4 dash. Like this, we can consider then. After finding z4 c, for example, if you want to make any improvement further, then this z4 c you consider it as z4 p. Then once again the same formula will be applied, and ignoring this z2 dash, then this value will come as an addition. This z3 dash will act as z2 dash like that. So the same formula will be extended. By including the newly calculated value, afterwards those two final values will be taken as the approximate values for the calculation. So based on these working steps and based on Milne's predictor character method uh, basics, uh, we can solve the problem on second order differential equations using predictor character due to Milne's formulations. Now I write the problem on this application. Example: Apply Milne's method. Apply Milne's method to approximate to approximate y at x equal to zero point four. Given that. Given that y double dash equal to one plus y dash and the set of values are and the set of values are. X, Y, and Z.
the first column that is x not y not z not second column x1 equal to x not plus h and y not becomes y1 and z not becomes z1 and x2 equal to x not plus 2h then y2 z2 then x3 equal to x0 plus bh equal to what that is y3 and z3 these are the given values now x4 is equal to x0 plus 4h what is y4 what is z4 that means these values are 0 1 1 point 0.1 then 1 1.1103 and y2 1.2427 one point four four it is two seven next is one point three nine three nine nine one point six nine nine so this y4 equal to how much and z4 equal to how much these values are to be calculated by Milne's predictor corrector method here these values will be given in the problem itself and directly you are going for the equations after finding z1 dash z2 dash and z3 dash from reducing from reducing this second order differential equation into first order differential equation afterwards that will be taken as z is a function of x comma y comma z uh, that is uh, uh, dy by dx is equal to afterwards then find y4 in terms of predicted and corrected z4 in terms of predicted and corrected using minus predicted character formula then how, how to reduce this second order in first order into first order equation what the introduction of z equal to dy by dx we followed in regular kutta method and same thing we follow here also that is in the solution given y double dash equal to 1 plus y dash put z equal to dy by dx then this implies dz by dx is equal to d square y divided by it is dx square then now z is that is dy by dx then this differential equation y double dash is nothing but this is y double dash and this is equal to y dash this becomes dz by dx because second order derivative with this then this is equal to 1 plus z is there so dz by dx is equal to 1 plus z and we will treat this as that is function of x comma y comma z therefore this is the reduced form of second order differential equation into first order differential equation according to the steps uh, working steps which we have written so we will calculate the values of y z1 dash z2 dash and z3 dash then by this equation we calculate that means we find z1 dash z2 dash and z3 dash as follows okay 
what is what what are the values of x not y not x not is this one zero and y not is one and z not equal to one therefore z one dash is equal to this this is the equation z one dash this is the equation right side becomes one plus z one z z becomes z one means at x equal to x one and y is equal to y one that is equal to so one plus of one plus of z one is given one point two one zero three that is equal to two point two one zero three similarly z two dash is equal to one plus z two one plus how much z two is one point double four it is two seven that becomes two point double four it is two seven then z three dash one plus of z three that is one plus of one point six double nine that becomes two point that is six double nine this is the value of z three dash then according to what we step we have taken that is the next step is to calculate that is y four p then y four p is equal to in terms of z that is y not plus sub four by three h multiplied to two times z one minus z two plus two times it is z three then these three values are already available in the table y not is one plus so four by three and h is difference between any two successive values of x successive values means between x not x one otherwise x one x two otherwise x two x three then that is point one that is point one because at point one point two point three it is given two times that is z one into one point that is two one zero three minus z two one point it is double four two seven plus two times that is one point six double nine then this y four p is calculated as Finally, we are getting this as one point. It is point eight three five. This is the value of y four p. After finding y four p, you need to calculate what is z four p. So z four p, when once you calculate, then you can go for the calculation of corrected value. Now this is called predicted value due to y. Then. What is corrected value? Uh, sorry, predicted value of z function. Therefore, functional value of z you have to calculate. After finding this uh, y four p, then z four p. This is equal to z not plus sub four by three h multiplied by z one z two z three becomes z one dash z two dash z three dash. At least two times it is z1 dash and a minus of z2 dash two times it is z3 dash. Then you calculate by substituting these three values of z1 dash, z2 dash, and z3 dash. The value of z0 is also one. It is given in the problem itself. And four by three multiplied to that is point one multiplied to that should be two times z one dash is two point two point two one zero three minus z 
the two dash is two point that is double four two seven and plus saw two times that should be two point six double nine. This calculation comes to be that is z four p one point nine eight three five. After doing this, then the value of z four dash equal to one plus it is z that becomes z four p. This is equal to one plus one point nine eight. Three five. This comes to be two point nine eight. It is three five. So this is the value of Z four dash. After finding Z four dash, then we need to go for the corrector formula application. So corrector formula of, uh, is possible after finding this functional value. What is that functional value? That is Z four p. So Z four p. And then z4 dash. Then we, we substitute according to corrector formula due to Milne's the value of y4c and value of z4c. Now the next step is by Milne's corrector formula. We have. To calculate that is y4 c. Y4 c formula is y2 plus h by 3 z2 four times z3 and z4 p. Already these values are z4 p. This is the value. To substitute the calculated value. That is at four p. Then y two in the table y two is given one point two four two seven plus point one is the value of h divided by three. Then z two one point double four two seven plus four into z three. That is four into z three. Uh, is 1.699 and plus of z4 p. So z4 p is calculated as 1.9835. So this y4 c takes the calculation y4 c uh, the corrected value 1.583. Double four is the value of y four c. Then, what is z four c? You have to calculate the final value. After finding y four c, the converted function. That means uh, z four p we have calculated. Now we have to convert with z four corrected value. Then, z four c is equal to z two. Same type of formula h by 3 z2 dash 4 times z3 dash plus it should be z4 dash z4 dash we have calculated but from the table z2 is z2 dash is that means z2 value is 1.4427. It is given in the problem plus point one plus point one by three multiplied by z two dash should be two point double four two seven plus four into z three dash that is two point two point six double nine. And plus of z4 dash. So z4 dash we have calculated as 2.9835. Then the simplification comes to be z4 c 
should be 1.983 double power. Therefore, this is the final value and this is the final value of y. What is this meaning? y at x equal to 0.4. That's nothing but 1.5844. And this is giving the meaning z at x equal to that is 0.4 that is equal to 1.58 it is 344 sorry 1.983 it is 44 this is the final value or the solution in the form of set of tabulated values. This type of solution is possible when we know all the preceding values of the calculation calculating value that is x equal to 0 0.4 earlier to that x equal to 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.1 those values must be known to us. But I will I shall take one more example where the data is slightly different from this that means when those values are not given then we need to calculate those values either by Taylor series or by Picard's method or by Euler's method or by Range Kutta second order method. Uh, then if we calculate like that then we can uh, prepare the table for functional values and then we can solve the problem. Okay. So I, will, I shall take one more example of that uh, uh, type where the functional values are not given then you need to calculate by Taylor's series. Example given y double dash plus x into y dash plus sub y equal to 0, y0 zero equal to 1, and y dash 0 equal to 0, comma, find y for x equal to 0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 by any method, by any method further, further here 0 it is already given, further continue continue the solution continue the solution by midnight method by midnight method to find to find y at 0 0.4 this is the problem given we can see the difference between the previous problem data and the data in this problem. In the previous problem, there was an advantage uh, calculated functional values of y1, y2, y3 were given. Here y0 is given, this is y0 and this is z0 and x0 is 0. In the previous problem y1, y2, y3 were given and you are able to calculate z1 and z2, z3. Uh, those values are also were also given and you are able to calculate z1 dash z2 dash and z3 dash by the reduced equation but here either you can apply taylor series or you can apply picot's method or you can apply euler's method or by range kutta second order even even second order also you can use so to introduce the preceding values of y4 that means x at x4 then uh, uh, this is called uh, where the values are to be calculated by some other method. 
that method will be called as starter method which supplies the preceding values of of x and y uh, by introducing the given values of h that means value of h is zero this is the initial value next value is 0.1 next value is 0.3 a 2 and 0.3 so the difference between two successive values of x is that is 0.1 it, it is similar uh, type in the table so what table you can prepare for this problem anyway First of all, let us record the given data. Given that, given that y over dash plus of x into y dash plus y is equal to zero. Let uh, d z by d y by d x equal to z. This is nothing but this is nothing but z. Then uh, d square. Y divided by dx square is equal to it is dz by dx. Then this equation becomes dz by dx plus of x into z plus of y equal to zero. Then what is the equation for dz by dx? This implies dz by dx is equal to minus of x into z and plus of y if i take that minus sign outside and this is nothing but function of x comma y comma z this is the function of x comma y comma z now what is the table given that means x and y and z at which value it is given and at which value you have to calculate then these are the values given here that is x not equal to 0 and y not is 1 and z not is that is given as 0 therefore at point 1 should be x1 and then x2 it is point 2 then x3 it is point 3 then x4 what is y4 How much? Uh, that is uh, here. Point four. Y four equal to how much? And Z four equal to how much? Therefore, those three values are to be calculated by any other method. For my convenience, I'll take the uh, Taylor series method. Then, by Taylor series method, we will be able to work out. Okay. So, first of all. Let me take by Taylor series method the derivatives which are possible from the given equation. Uh, then we need to substitute those asking numbers that is 0.1, 0.2, 0.3, and all that. Okay. So what is a Taylor series equation? Now I shall give the Taylor series equation to find out the three values of y. We compute. By Taylor series, Taylor series, the values of y one, y two, y three at x equal to point one, point two, point three respectively. Respectively. Then, what is the equation we have to consider? That means here this must be uh, the given equation, and then we go on differentiating that. Okay. Now we will take the advantage of this z not. The given differential equation is like this. Even without reducing, as it is, we will take uh, that is y double dash plus x y plus y is equal to Zero. Here itself, I will take that is y double dash, y double dash plus x into y dash. Plus this is a product of two functions. Then y and plus of y dash equal to zero. Then y fourth order derivative plus x into y double dash 
plus of y dash this y dash becomes 2y dash and plus of y double dash equal to 0 next is up to uh, 5 or 6 derivatives we calculate and then we can uh, consider up to required number of terms in the series then we, we can substitute at x equal to given number then y fifth order derivative plus of x into y double dash and this becomes uh, 2 times y dash that means y double dash x differentiation is 1 that is plus of 2 y double dash plus of y equal dash equal to 0 like this then already we have a set of values at y0 is equal to 0 and y dash 0 is equal to it is given that is also 0 but y0 is 1 and now we calculate what is y double dash 0 from this that is y double dash 0 y double dash 0 we have to calculate by this substitute this becomes y0 and uh, this becomes y0 so y0 is 1 and y0 is 1 and x0 is 0 therefore this becomes minus 1 if we, if we take to the right side then y triple dash at 0 this is equal to because we need these uh, derivatives at x equal to initial value that is x0 to substitute in the Taylor's series then what we have to do uh, that is y triple dash 0 x is 0 and y0 is 0 and y dash 0 so this is 0 then y triple dash 0 y triple dash 0 of course uh, uh, y double dash 0, y triple dash 0 is over. Now y fourth order derivative at x equal to 0. y fourth order derivative x equal to 0, this becomes 0. And y dash uh, 0, this is 0. And y double dash, that is minus 1. So this becomes plus 1. Then, and y fifth order derivative, let me calculate up to here. y fifth order derivative, this is 0. y double dash, it is minus 1 and this is minus 2, minus 3 this becomes and y triple dash, y triple dash is 0. So minus 1 and minus 2 that becomes plus 3 on the right side, etc. So we will substitute in the Taylor series expansion. You studied in the uh, previous uh, syllabus of uh, differential calculus application that is Taylor series for function of one variable. I will write that equation Taylor series for function of one variable and then we can substitute these values that is by Taylor series for function of one variable as one variable as that is y of x is equal to y naught y naught dash plus of this is one factorial x minus x naught whole square y naught double dash by two factorial plus so on. So x naught is zero and all those values this is y naught you can take this is y naught dash and this is y naught double dash here and this is y naught double dash this is y naught fourth order derivative and this is y naught it is fifth order derivative after substituting uh, you will be getting the equation for Taylor series as uh, the final equation I am writing by substitute and then simplify you will be getting that is the last step of the uh, Taylor series equation y of x is equal to that is uh, y of x is equal to 1 minus x square by 2 factorial 3 by 4 
x to the power of 4 minus 5 into 3 by 6 x to the power of 6 and plus so on. Then to calculate z1 dash, z1 dash, you need to take this differentiation that is y dash x. That is equal to 1 is 0 minus of 2x. This 2 cancels. x on your units. And uh, this is 4 factorial, 6 factorial. And x minus, uh, that is uh, x minus, and this is plus sign, x plus of 1 by 2 should be x cubed. That is 3, 3 x, square, x to the power of uh, 4 x to the power of 3. Therefore, 4 cancels and 3 cancels. That is 2 remains, 2 into 1, minus of 1 by 8, that is x to the power 6, and so on. This is the value for y dash x, means y dash x means it is at by dx, that is y dash x. So by this, now we calculate the values of three functional uh, values which are not given in the table from the last expression. Therefore, at x equal to 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, we find we find the values the values from this equation as well as from this equation, values of that is y and z. So, this is the equation, these are the equations. Therefore, y at 0 0.1 equal to 0 0.995, y at 0 0.2 equal to 0 0.9802 and y at 0 0.3 is equal to 0 0.956. Then from this z value, that is z at 0 0.1 is minus of 0 0.0995 and z at 0 0.2 equal to 0 0.98. 0, 2 and z at 0, 0.3 is equal to 0, point z at 0, point 0.1 z at 0, point 0.2 196 and this is with minus sign 196 and this is with also minus sign 0, point, uh, 0.2863 then using the set of values, easily we can calculate that is z, z1 dash, z2 dash and z3 dash from the given equation. What is the given equation? Given equation is y double dash plus of x into y dash plus y equal to 0 implies dz by dx equal to minus of x into z plus of y is that. Now, z1 dash, this is called z dash. Okay. Now, z1 dash implies that is equal to z1 at z1 dash at x1, y1, like that. Then, you can calculate these values as uh, x in x1, y1 and z1. Okay. Then this equation comes to be minus of x1, z1 plus y1. So that comes to be first value is 0 0.985. This is already calculated this equation and z2 dash that is equal to 0. Uh, minus 0 0.941 and z3 dash that is 
minus 0 0.8 star. So, what is this Z1 dash? Nothing but this is Z1 dash at point 1. This is Z2 dash at point 2 because we have taken at x2 and y2 and z2. Therefore, this is z3 dash at the point 3. Then, by Milne's method, the remaining part is to apply the predictor and predictor formulas due to Milne's method. Now, by Milne's predictor formulas. What is the predictor formula we have to write? Milne's predictor predictor formula. We find y4 p and it is z4 p as, as the first equation y4 p is equal to y0 plus 4 by 3 h multiply to 2 times the previously calculated equations we have given from that equation you have to consider what are those equations that is y4 p is equal to 2 times z1 minus z2 plus 2 times it is z3 this y4 p takes the value y4 p takes the value uh, at point 4, this y4 p means that is y4 p at x4. What is that value? That is 0 0.4. This calculation comes to be 0 0.9231. A1. Similarly, z4 p, nothing but z4 p at x equal to x4 that is equal to point, point 0.4 this is equal to z0 plus 4 by 3 h multiplied by 2 times that is uh, z1 dash minus z2 dash plus of 2 times it is z3 dash this calculation comes to be minus of 0 0.4 Double seven, it is five four. Similarly, the next value is by a character formula. Then by a character formula. we have that is y4 c what is y4 c the formula is y4 c is y2 plus h by 3 it should be z2 and plus of 4 times z3 plus of z4 that is uh, p then what is this value y4 c that is equal to this value comes to be uh, minus 0 0.3692 then finally, that is Z4 C, Z4 C, uh, but Z4, Z, Z4 dash, this calculates Z4 dash, because we need in the next step, that should be, uh, if, uh, from the given equation we have to calculate, minus of 0 0.3692, then Z4 C is equal to Z2, plus h by 3, it is z2 dash plus 4 times z3 dash plus z4 dash, this is the value.
this calculation comes to be that is at code C uh, minus of 0 0.3692 minus 0 0.3692 but this is not the value there is a correction then this becomes uh, 0 0.9232 then z code c that is 0 0.3692 this is the value so this problem uh, gives the idea that when functional values are not given then we need to take the calculations from any other method which acts as a starter method in my next class i will continue in my next discussion i will continue uh, to discuss about uh, calculus of variations that is the next chapter in this module 5